Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my pixel. It's awesome to see you here again today. If you're here for the first time, then it's just great to see you. Uh, welcome to the party. Today, we're going to fancy things up a little and get into building out our stage. We're going to get that done using tile sets and tile maps. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is create our tile set. So for that, we're going to create a new scene. And then to that scene, we're going to add a node 2D. For good measure, let's just name our node 2D. I can't remember if it is actually going to matter or not, but we'll name it. We'll call it ground tile set. To that, we'll add a sprite object. And we'll call that sprite ground zero zero. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Okay, before we add the texture, let's go ahead and add everything we need for that sprite to or for this object to, to work, right? The collision boxes and everything. So to the sprite, we're going to add our, what was it again? Static body 2D. Okay. And then to our static body 2D, we're going to add our collision shape 2D. Okay. And we can't add the rectangle yet because we don't know how big this is going to be, right? So. So to the sprite object, we need a texture. Over here, I got a whole sprite sheet. So I'm just going to drag that in here, right? Instead of one tile, we got the whole thing. Because we're looking for just one tile, we're going to need to set the region. So we're going to this region here. We set that to enabled. And we'll see it disappear. Um, I'm already in texture region. Y you might be here. Just click texture region. We're going to set the snap mode to grid snap. We know that our sprite sheet here works on 16 by 16 pixel tiles. So in this, these step fields, right? So this is the height and width. We're going to set it to 16 and 16. See the boxes expand. And then we'll set or we'll select the tile or the area of the sprite sheet that we want to use for our uh, sprite object here. So let's just go ahead and select this one. Okay, and we see it's looking great there. Okay, now that we have that, let's go back in and let's add the rectangle shape. And this is your collision box. I'll zoom in a little bit so we can see better what we're doing. Okay, we got things nice and squared up there. All right, since we got that there, I like to go ahead and just hide the static body and the collision shape so I don't have to see this blue tint on everything. Then I'll just collapse that down because we have everything we need under the sprite here. And then with the sprite, select the, make sure the object's children aren't selectable. That's always nice to do. You don't have to do it, but it could help. For some reason, it didn't work there. There it goes. Okay. All right. So let's zoom out a little bit so we can see. Okay. So that's sprite number one, right? So, but we got a whole bunch of tiles that we need to add to our tile set. So let's go ahead and duplicate this tile. You could do a control D to duplicate, or you can right click and then select duplicate. I'm used to the control D, so it's going to be what I'm doing. Um, you don't have to worry about lining these up nicely. Uh, later when they're organized, I think they get organized in alphanumeric order, something like that. So you'll see when it creates duplicates, it's 0, zero 1. You'll see zero, 02, zero, 03 as we go on. You can put them anywhere, but they're going to get organized by in that order later. So don't worry about it. We'll just place them on our screen good enough so that we can see it. Okay, so now that we have that one, we're still in our texture region. We don't want the same tile again, so we'll select a different one. Okay? And then it's just rinse and repeat. So control D, select this, control D. Let's see how how far should we go with this? Let's let's take a whole bunch of them. Okay, so if you can just stick with me here. 
Okay, I'll scroll down. We'll get a bunch more so that we can make a nice looking stage. Right. Almost there. Let's just take these last two. Okay. So from zero to 13, we got 14 tiles in there. So after you've made all your tiles, we're going to save those tiles as a tile set. To do that, right, we're in our scene here. We didn't even save our scene, right? We don't need to. But we'll just go up to this scene in the menu, convert to tile set. Okay, so let's give it a name. What should we call it? Let's just call it ground tile set. And we need to give it an extension. T-R-E-S or R-E-S. I always use T-R-E-S. Okay. And then we'll save. And then if we go back to our resource tree, right, the, the root of our resource tree, was, we should see that file, right? Ground tile set dot T-R-E-S. Okay. So for, or if for some reason you want to save this scene, you can go ahead and do that now but it's not required for us to move on because we've already saved the contents of this scene or the tiles, the stuff that we want basically into this tile set file. So I'm just going to get rid of the scene. Okay. And save and close, cancel, don't save, don't save, right? I don't need it. And we're going to go back to our stage one scene, right? Okay. And right. If you're following along from before, you probably created all these tiles yourself. Now we're going, ahead, we're going to go ahead and just get rid of them all, right? We did it one way. Now let's do it the right way, I guess you could say. So we'll get rid of them. And then we're going to create a new object in our stage one scene. Let me just make sure that I have this and not the player selected because I don't want the uh, next object to be a child of the player. I want it to be a child of stage one. So I'm going to add, and then we're looking for tile map. So we add the tile map. Okay. We zoom out a little bit. Uh, let's zoom in. This purple line is like the border for our game screen. But So now we got the tile map. Inside here, you'll see tile set, set to null, right? We need to add something in there, right? You can go new tile set. Actually, no, scratch that. Sorry, clear. Right. If you're gonna do it from here, you can go load, or you can simply grab the tile set file here and just drag and drop into there. Right. You might want to go with the drag and drop. That's pretty easy. Okay. Now you see we have them all lined up like this. Right. This window you can ex or this section you can expand it however you want. Uh, for us. It sort of works really nicely if you go by threes over here, right? Think things just sort of line up nicely, right? If you've got four by fours, then you know you could expand here and then you could see things a lot easier. But we're just gonna expand to here so we can see the three. Okay, but when we place our tiles, you see this big orange square, right? It's it's huge, right? This is not what we want. It doesn't let us place tiles next to each other, right? So to fix that. We need to go into cell and it says size 64 by 64, right? It's not what we, what we want. We want 16 by 16, right? Because that's, that's what we got. So we'll set 16 by 16. If you can see now, looks good. Okay, so with that, we can get into tiling out our stage. Okay, so all you got to do now is you left click to select which tile you want. And then you can left click anywhere on the map to place it. Right. 
if you make a mistake, you can just hover over the area and right click. You can right click to de delete. So think of it like a pencil tool in drawing, right? Left tool or left click would be to draw and then right click would be to erase or at least some programs work like that. So you can go ahead and tile stuff out. Now, one thing that I didn't realize when I was learning how to do this for the first time was that you could rotate tiles, right? What I had done is I had taken a graphics or image editing program and, you know, let's say I wanted to make a square with this. On the bottom, I actually rotated the sprite and then saved it. And then, you know, I would have additional sprite tiles for the bottom. What you can do, though, is if you're okay with rotating them, right, you don't have, you know, Sometimes you don't have tiles that can be rotated nicely, but if you want and you can don't care if you can rotate them, then you can click one of these buttons up here. Rotate by 90 degrees, 180, right? And this mirrors them and stuff like that. So for this one, right, see it looks like an upper left corner right now. I can just rotate that. And now I got a bottom right corner. Right? Or if I got a top left, I can get a bottom left just by mirroring it that, down. Right? You're going to get slightly different images, right, if you if you just think about it for a little bit, right? But, uh, yeah, in any case, you can do that too, right? So, you can bake in the, you know, top and bottom tiles, right, this nine slice thing into your sprite sheet exactly as you want them. Or if you're okay with rotating them, then you might be able to save a little bit of time and just... As you tile, you know, you can rotate these things however you want. Okay, so, well, enough goofing around with that. Let's actually tile out our stage. So, uh, I think I'm just going to get this done on my own, and then we'll cut to it when I'm finished. So, uh, hold on one second. All right, I'm back, and as you can see, I got our tile map set up a little bit here. So now that this is done, let's run our game and see how it feels. Run a game, right? Run back and forth, jump around a little bit, make sure you know all the gravity is working as it should. Right? Collisions working, right? When I step off of things, they work nicely. I can bang into things. Yeah, I don't know about you. Look, looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, I mean, well, you know, we still we still got to work on this guy's animation, right? This is a little bit dull. He only faces one way, and he doesn't even look like he's running. But I promise you, we're going to get to that real soon. But for a day's work, I think this looks great, right? All our collisions are working as they should. And now we've got a stage that is easily buildable and modifiable because of our new tile set and tile map. So today, we learned a better way to build and design our stage, and I think things are shaping up nicely. With each step we take, we're getting closer and closer to our idea of what a platform game should look and feel like. So that'll do it for today. I'd like to thank you all for showing up and following along. If you like today's video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new videos which are going to be coming up real soon. As always, I'd love to hear how you're doing in your projects, so uh, please let me know in the comments or again, you can just stop by and say hello. Once again, today's tutorial project folder, which includes the sprite resources and everything we worked on in this tutorial series up until today, right? all of that will be available for download on my Patreon page. So in case you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. And with that, we're good. So thanks again to everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one real soon. Take it easy.